people are over your right shoulder, lots of people are going yes. to have to adhere to today, uh, well, in the coming Ooh. days. Yes, absolutely. If you can even go that fast, actually, Naga, for some of us. Over the next few days, we are going to see it turning colder, where it's been so mild, and a lot of us are going to see some snow, particularly as we head through the weekend, it will turn colder, and we'll see some of that snow get down to the south on current thinking. What we have at the moment is low pressure driving our weather, and it's the positioning of this low pressure is moving east and south. That will determine where we're going to see the rain, where we're going to see the snow, and also it will change the wind direction. Today, we've got rain, sleet and snow across Northern Ireland, also across Northern England and Scotland. Now, most of the snow is going to be in the hills, but in the highlands at times, we could see it getting down to lower levels. And with a gusty wind, it will, of course, be drifting. We've also got a band of showery rain, which could be heavy and thundery, moving northwards through the course of the day but in between something drier and brighter still mild in the south cold in the north now, as we head through this evening and overnight, this band of showery rain moves north and becomes ensconced in northeast England. Once again, there's the risk of localised flooding from this. Meanwhile, our band of rain, sleet and hill snow, but some of that getting down to lower levels, will move across Scotland. There'll be a few showers in the west, but not much more than that. Risk of ice and frost in the north, not as cold in the south. So the Met Office now has an amber weather warning out for heavy snow across Scotland. It starts at midnight tonight and it runs until six o'clock on Saturday. The amber warning means an increased likelihood of impacts due to severe weather. Now, to give you an idea, the kind of snow levels that we're looking at, 10 to 15 centimetres, that's up to six inches of fresh snow at lower levels and above 150 metres, we could see a foot of fresh snow. So that is 30 centimetres of thereabouts. The areas we're looking at include the Highlands, the Grampians, Caithness, Sutherland, and also down towards Pitlochry and Perth. It doesn't include, for example, the Southern Uplands and around the Edinburgh area at the moment. Now, as we go through Friday, you can see how we've got this combination of rain, sleet and snow, not just on higher ground, but as I mentioned, at lower levels. We've also got some showers coming in across Northern Ireland, parts of England and Wales, but a drier day in the southeast. And here, still mild still cold in the north, but we're starting to see some colder air filter in from the west. And that's thanks to the positioning of our low pressure and the various fronts rotating around it. We start to pull in more of an easterly, cold direction for us, and our low pressure sinks south. Here it is on Sunday. Now, the positioning of that could change. So if we have a look at Saturday, first of all, we do have the snow across the north of the country. We've got rain in the south and a strong easterly wind. So there'll be a wind chill and there will also be some blowing snow. These are our temperatures lower than they have been in the south. And I just quickly want to show you another couple of charts because this cold air does filter across the whole of the UK during the course of Sunday. For some where we've had 14 degrees this week, we'll be looking at one or two. And this is where we think the snow will be on Sunday. Now, as I mentioned, and I stress, the positioning of this could change, but we do have strong, gusty easterly winds, so it will feel bitter and some of this snow could well be blowing as well. So some tricky conditions coming up in the next few days, Charlie and Naga. You can always tell when you're worried, Carol, because you hunched up your shoulders there. Oh. You, did the little, <laughs> you did the little thing. I look at these gestures very carefully, Carol, Bless you see? You. Well, after all this time, we know, don't yeah, we? Those Obviously. are the signs. I just want to get it all out so that you're aware that this has the potential to happen. Let it out, Carol. It's always a good thing to let it out. <laughs> Better out than in, Thanks. as they say, Carol. See you later on, Thanks, Carol. Thank Mega. you very much. Uh,